Faithful to fail you is a faithful God. Just worship, just exalt him, just adore him. Let's give him all glory. Let's thank him for this day he has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Wherever you are, just begin to bless his name. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the breaking of today. Thank you, King of glory. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please, if you've got testimony and encounter, you would like to share with us, just indicate your hands up while the word will be going on and the prayer will be going on. We're coming to the place whereby we'll take that and we'll pray for you. Now, let me share this before. Let me say one or two words that will set the platform for the prayer we're about to pray. Now, and what you and I should do this week. Praise God. You and I, what you and I should do this week. Already, the kind of like um, praises we are doing on our testimony report, testimonies are already happening. Things are already happening in the spirit. Things are already happening in the spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Things are already happening in the spirit. So that's the reason why I would say, God testimony, indicate your hand up and share to the glory of God. Now, let me say this. I want you to do something this week that the Spirit of God laid me. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to say it again at the end of the prayers as we pray. And that is, we are going to take warfare on our prophecies this week. We're going to take warfare on our prophecies this week, warfare on our prophecies. Now, let me show you something. In Genesis chapter 19, so many of you know the story of uh, what happened in Genesis 19, where, where we saw um, Abraham met three people who would, would believe that one of them is Jesus and the other two. And they got to a particular place and it was told that they were to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. You know the story. And we saw how he pleaded, interceded. Read through Genesis 19, you will see it. And said, if, is it possible that um, you want to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? If you find 10 people there, will you see the same one? If you find 50 people, sorry, 
She tells us, okay, if I find 50, they find the search, they cannot find 50 righteous people. Okay, if you find 20, will you see the straw? Okay, if I find 20 righteous people. If you find 10, they look for 10, they could not see. They look for 10, they could not see in the whole nation. So God said, and God walked from there. Now, but God wants to save Lot, who was related to Abraham because of the connection. So the angel decided to save Lot from that place before they destroy totality of Sodom and Gomorrah. So first of all, the angel asked him to move out of that place to a particular place and escape before the destruction takes place. But in the course of it, we heard his wife look back and she became a pillar of salt. Now, when the destruction was going on, I want you to look at a scripture I'm about to read and I'm going to tell us what to do. In Genesis 19, let me look from verse 26, when but his wife looked back and behind him and she became a pillar of salt, 26. Now, 27, and Abraham went early in the morning to the place where he had stood before the Lord. To the place where he had stood before the Lord. He went back to that place he stood before the Lord that he had used for Sodom. If he interceded for Sodom, the place he met the Lord, where they, where they made the communication that can you, can you preserve this land if you find 10 righteous people? So he went early in the morning to that same place, to that same spot. Then look at verse 28. Then he looked towards Sodom and Gomorrah and towards all the land of the plain. And he saw them, behold, the smoke of the land, which went up like the smoke of a furnace. So Abraham saw how everywhere was burning glory. Then look at verse 29, which is where I'm going. And it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain, that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow. And when he overthrew the cities in which Lot had dwelt, when he had overthrown the city in which Lot has dwelt in. Take note of this word. Abraham went early in the morning, and where does he stay? He went and stand at the point where he met with the Lord, where he spoke to the Lord, where the Lord told him, okay, we can't find 10 people, but don't worry, your brother will be saved. He went back to the same spot, and the Bible said it came to pass, and God destroyed the city of the plain, and that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of that place. Now, there's something about standing in the place where you heard from God. There is power in standing in the place where you heard from the Lord. And that is in the place of prayer. Now what Abraham went ahead to do is this. I know Sodom and Gomorrah was going to be destroyed, but he stood before the Lord where the place where he met him, where they stood so, and, on, and God remembered, oh, oh, Lot, I have to save Lot if I totally destroy this place. He stood before the Lord there. They've argued over the issue and he knew that there was no 10 righteous people there, so the city had to be destroyed. But he stood there. And for that reason, for him to stand there and say, Lord, this is what you told me. This is where we met. God remembered Abraham and saved Lot. Now, this is what I'm going to do. You need to stand in the place where you heard from God. You need to stand in the place where you met him. Until you see manifestations of his word. Now, what do you do, people of God? I want you to stand in the place where you heard from him. It's not about a physical place. It's about a spiritual place. The place you stand is a place in this presence where you heard from him, his word. People of God, how many prophecies has God spoken to you? God has spoken to you on this altar. God has spoken through several channels to you. God has spoken to you personally. What do you do? Stand! 
in the place of prayer about the prophecy. Can I tell you something about the prophetic word over your life? The prophetic word of your, over your life is a prayer point. The reason why it's a prayer point is because it is, if you want to pray prayer, pray prophecy prayer because it is, you are hitting directly at the, dev, at the enemies that is fighting you. How do you know the forces to deal with pray your prophecies? Because attached to your prophecies are the forces that does not want you to be. So when you are praying with your prophecy, you are attacking directly forces that is fighting you. You know, Timothy, it was said to Timothy by Paul, he said concerning the prophecy that has gone over your head, he says you fight a good warfare. So I want you to understand that you don't keep prophecy to happen. God has said it, he will do it. Mm -mm. You don't write record prophecy waiting. So you use it as your prayer point. You use it for warfare. Prophecy becomes the reason why you are going into warfare. That time, you, you see, so many people pray 1,001 prayer points. They look for a book. 1,000 prayer points. No, 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 no. You don't need that. Most of those 1,000 prayer points, they are not your case. So, so when you are beginning to pray, let's say now, I take delivery of my prophetic word that I'm going abroad. You are hitting directly the force that is assigned to make sure you are not traveling anywhere. All right? Not knowing the name, you are hitting that force directly. You are, because for you hitting your prophecy, you're going to combat that force. So prophecy, pray your prophecy is a direct way of hitting the forces fighting your destiny. It's a direct way of praying the, you are hitting the target, pray, pray short target prayers. That's one of the ways to pray it, is by praying your prophecies. Because your prophecies is an indication of the battles you have to fight in the opposite. And that's why we're going to pray this day. And I want you to understand that the way to, to, to stand, to, to, to take your prophecy into warfare, stand in the place where you stand before the Lord, where he spoke. Abraham went early in the morning to stand in that place where he stood before the Lord and they talked about Sodom and Gomorrah. It wasn't recorded, but we knew that like he must have spoken about Lot. That if Sodom cannot be saved, but Lot, please Lord. But when he went, he went and stand there, he saw how everywhere was in flame. And God remembered Abraham. And God preserved Lot. He stood where they met. Go back to the place you heard from God. Go back. There is something powerful about consistency. Sir, if God said it, had you go into the place of committed warfare, don't remind him anything. Remind him before. Do you know what? Remind him the prophecy. When you remind him, begin to combat forces. I tell you, you cause God to remember. You cause heaven to act fast on your case. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Are you ready to pray? I want you to remove that notion from your heart that if God said it, he will do it. Yes. When God says it, he will do it. But when humans play the roles that are meant to be played, there are certain demons that God has given us power to deal with. God is not going to come and deal with them for us. Understand that. God is not going to come and deal with the things he has given us power to deal with already. So God is going to play his part. You've got to play your part. So I want you to understand this week. Now take the prophecies. Write them down. Parukataba. Every prophetic word that has come over your life is going to be your, is going to be your warfare, your warfare point this week. You're going to be reminding him his prophecies. Lord, you said this, dated this, dated that. You said concerning this, then you begin to go into warfare. Every powers from dark places against this world. You begin to challenge them. You are hitting what is come. It's not when you are praying against one small demon, but the strong man bring you, you are not hitting it. You are hitting them. Hit. And I tell you, those prayer produces results. When you pray with your prophecy, it produces results. 
Sometimes you see instant attack. Sometimes you see instant reaction. It shows you are hitting something. And before you know it, you see results. What is my message before we pray this morning? Please, people of God, go back to the place where you stood before the Lord, where he spoke. Go back there. Go back there. Stand. Stand. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Throw back those words to him. And you're going to see them come to pass. I believe some of this. Let's go into the place of prayer. Okay, I can see a hand up. Any other person with testimony, lift your hands. I want us to take some prayer before I hear, oh, hear testimony. I want us to take some prayers. The Lord said we should focus in the place of prayer today. He said, should, he said we should pray against delay. We should pray against delay. And I said, why, Lord? He said, because he said, there are law, he said the delay shall be broken. He said there are a lot of things that have been delayed in the life of people that will manifest forth. Are you ready to pray? Right now, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. We're going to take five prayer points in this area. Then we'll take some testimonies. Lo Gaba, pray in the Holy Ghost. Radu Zuka da Bakasi Bakosia. Rete Zuku Zubahana. Brahuli Bakosia. Eragadi Kuzuba Rabakadi Katapakodia. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Charge yourself. Arakuba. Eregadi Kuzukata. E grandi Kuzuba Rabakadia. Lagruzo Kotu Brabakadia. Shande Rebu Kuzubahaya. Rakuzuba Rabakadia. Pray in the Holy Ghost. E gratu Kuzuba. Yanga tu Kuzuba. Rabababaha. Padu Kasapa Rabakadi Pokosia. Eli Kratu Kuzu Rabakadi Pokoduba. Ngate Karabaku de Bakanabakuba. Yakutu Balabaka de Bakadia. Esa Wadike Jabako de Bakadera. Isa wati kaya bakul bekdia, rapa di kasa bakul bekdia, maru bata bayi bakul bekdia, zawati kaya bakul bekdia, shandi riba kusu bara bekdia, barbu bakal bakul bekdia, zawati kaya bakul bekdia, onso prali kata bakul bek, isa wati kaya bakul bek, zawata kaya bakul bekdia, rapa kusi bara kaliba, isa wati kedia, in Jesus name we pray. I want us to pray. Look, there is a strong man that is assigned to delay. Prophecies. We saw it in Pharaoh. Pharaoh said, Who is that God that I will let you go? You are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. No, he said, God said that we are going to a land flow with me and honey. He said, You're not going anywhere. I want you to begin to pray now. Every strong man assigned against my release, every strong man assigned to against my prophetic words, assigned against my prophetic destiny. I want you to begin to declare right now. Say, I bind that strong man. Let that strong man die. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Let that strong man be bound this morning. Let that strong man be bound this morning. Let that strong man be chained this morning. Let that strong man be arrested this morning. Let that strong man be imprisoned this morning. Let that strong man okay, this morning. Can you open your mouth and begin to pray? Every strong man that is assigned from the pit of hell, that is assigned from the dark kingdom to stop my release, to stop my prophetic destiny, to hinder me, to delay. Open your mouth and begin to pray. That strong man, be bound, be arrested, be chained, be prisoner, die. Be bound, be arrested, be prisoner, be chained, die. That strong man that is assigned to delay to delay my marriage, uh, to delay my, my, my business, uh, to delay my traveling, uh, to delay my job. Uh, open your mouth and pray. I go higher. That strong man that is assigned to delay it from coming, to delay it from being released. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let that strong man be arrested, uh, be bound, uh, be chained, uh, be prisoner, die. Go can you open your mouth? Can you pray that prayer? Let that strong man uh, be arrested, uh, be imprisoned, uh, be chained, uh, 
be bound, die. Look at Rabakus, and get Rabakosodo, Rabarabacodo, Rabasuka de Baya, and Ligre Hedicoso, Kayika Tapacusia, Kalika Tapacusia, Opuyomata make that declaration, and Rekadika Zebaya, Kalibro de Bacadia, Rabatica de Baya, every strong man that is on assignment against my prophecy, against my prophecy, assigned to block it, assigned to block it, assigned to stop it. You that strong man. Be arrested, uh, be bound, uh, be chained, uh, be imprisoned, uh, die. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. Every strong man that is saying no to the word of God in my life, to the promises of God in my life. God said to Moses, go and tell Pharaoh that we are going with all our people. Pharaoh said, you can go. But don't go with your kids. Don't go with this. Don't go with that. I want you to pray. Every strong man negotiating your prophecy. Every strong man negotiating your prophecies. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, by the power of God, you are a liar. You are a liar. Be arrested. Be bound. Be prisoner. Die. Open your mouth and pray. Every strong man that is attacking, that is resisting the promises of God. For my life, uh, your time is up. Uh, be bound, uh, be arrested, uh, be imprisoned, uh, die. Open your mouth and make that declaration. Begin to declare. Say, you strong man of delay. You strong man with the assignment to delay my destiny. You strong man with the assignment to delay me. You strong man with the assignment to delay the things God wants to do in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You that strong man. The assignment that you have been given is just to see that that thing God said does not happen on time. Does not happen at the time. To Bahada, that I wait for too long. What a few that strong man that is assigned with that evil around my life be bound, be arrested, be in prison, be chained, die. Open your mouth and pray. You that strong man with the assignment to delay my marriage, to delay my career, to delay my children. To Lobara Bakadia, open your mouth and pray. Le Kobahadia. The Lord said there's a child with delayed speech. Delayed speech. He said there's a spirit behind it. The Lord said, the mother should fast for three days. I want to release that one. And this is what you'll be praying. You, that strong man, that is assigned to delay my child, to delay me. Open your mouth and pray, everybody. Every strong man that is assigned to delay me, that is given the assignment to delay my destiny, that is given the assignment to delay my prophecy, that is given the assignment to delay the things that God wants to do in my life this year. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You, that strong man, be arrested, be chained, be bound, be arrested, be chained, be bound, be arrested, be chained, be bound, be arrested. Elle Karabakosia, Elle Grabakosia, Rabakus Bakaria, Gaya Bakur Bakaria, Zampra Kuti Bakaria, you that strong man, be arrested, be chained, be bound, be arrested, be chained, be bound, pray very well. See that strong man that is on assignment to delay my career. I don't know what you have seen crawling. Hey, O Barabakadia, Gabaro Bakadia, Gabaro Bakaria, Kazia Bakodiba, Garabako de Bakada. The strong man on assignment to delay your destiny today. I decree that that strong man releases it now. Release what they are holding. Release what they are holding. Open your mouth and pray. I just saw something happen for somebody. So I'm going to declare the individual prophecy I'm seeing. But I want you to pray this prayer. Any strong man holding what is mine that is causing delay, holding what is mine that is causing delay, command them to release it now. Command them to release it now. Whatever is in the hands of the strong man that they are holding. And as a result of that, I am experiencing delay. I am experiencing delay. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Release my document. Release my marriage. Release my job. Release my health. Release my traveling. Release my business. Release my wealth. Release my money. Release my partner. Release my helpers. Open your mouth and pray. Whatever the strong man is holding. And as a result of that, I am on that delay. I am going through delay. Be released by fire. Be released by fire. Be released by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Be released by fire. Open your mouth and declare. Be released by fire. Barakasuka. Rabba Bahaya. Igadabakosia. Garabakodibakaria. 
Rusubakadia, Kosupra Bagadia, Gayibu Rubudia, Araba Kuziba, Kayeke de Bukudia, Raba Bagadia, Gaya Bakulibagada, Korubukuza, Gaya Bakazawa, Robasa Bagadia, Neziki Diba, Maliki de Bagadia, Shandi Ribakada, Kaya Katuza, Kaya Katuza, Kaya Katuza, Ilomoro Bagadia, everything the strong man is holding. Be released by fire, be released by fire, be released by fire, be released by fire, be released by fire. I don't know what belongs to you that the strong man is holding. I command it to be released. I command that strong man to release it. Release those document files, release that wealth, release that virtue, release that destiny, release that glory, release that star. Release what you're holding right now by fire. Be released 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 by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Aleva Huria Masandunaba. Elikidi Bukosubara Bakasaya. Araba Karabako to make it grigida. Shande Reva Kosubara Bakalikida. Yakutu Barabakalabako to Bakasia. Zapra Huni Bakalaba Huri Bakasia. Shande Reva Kosubara Bakalibuzia. Zapra Duka the Bakada Bakada. Baruka de Bako Bakaduzia. Shande Reva Kodubakadia. I command everything in the hands of the strong man that they are holding. And as a result of that, you have been going through delay. Let that thing be released now. By the fire of God, I force them to release it. We force them to release it. We force them to release it. We force them to release it. Let the strong man release it. And as a result of that, let wherever it is delayed, let it be released now. 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 In the name of Jesus, Lord, I give you praise. You are going to be praying this morning. You are going to be praying this morning. A lot of release is taking place. This is not just a normal prayer. Angels are walking. The ground has been prepared. A lot of things are released. A lot of things have been released. We force strong men to release what they are holding. Now, I don't know what they are holding, and as a result of that, you have been delayed. I don't know what they are holding. As a result of that, you are, you are, you are like on the spot. You cannot make move. You can't do anything. You are just castrated. You are just stagnated. Let whatever they are holding be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every strong man that is on assignment will delay your destiny to Barabakadia, to waste your time, to waste your season. That strong man, he no leave, he no one leave you. If they follow you up and down, wherever that strong man is, we bind that strong man this morning. We are raised a strong man this morning. Strong man holding marriages. Strong man holding marriages in family here. I decree right now, let that strong man release that marriage. Release those marriages. All those marriages you are holding, release it by fire. 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 Release those marriages now by fire. In the name of Jesus, we are praying this morning. We are praying. Daniel was told from the first day you started praying. Let's take one more prayer point. Then I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to hear testimony. I'm going to speak one or two three words. Then I'm going to make some very powerful decree. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Don't joke with the instructions. As you hear them, do them, and see God just opening up things in your life. See God opening chapters in your life. Lord, I give you praise. I thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. Thank you for what you're showing me. Thank you for what you're showing me. Go bara bakadia. Gala bakul bakadia. Raba kul bakadia. Gara bakul dekada. Raba kul bakadia. I don't know who is here. The Lord told me there's somebody here. That that person three days ago, that he told you that you have a strong, you have a healing ministry. You have a healing ministry. He's called you to the healing ministry. Please, wherever that person is, can you write, I'm the one. I just need to pray for you because God has spoken. I don't need to, I just need to speak to you. God spoke to you. You heard a voice. I don't know how you heard it, whether you were told, or you heard personally yourself, but the word came that you have a healing. It's sort of a healing ministry. Healing ministry about some days ago. Please, if you are that person, write, let me see it. I'm waiting. Write, let me see that you are the person, I'm, that you are the person that I'm talking to. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We're going to pray. Daniel was told from the first day you started praying, your prayer was answered. Your prayer was answered. He said, From the first day, Daniel, you started praying. He said, Your prayers were answered. He said, But the prince of Pasha withstood your angel. 
there are so many of us, our angel have been resisted. Our angel have been hindered. Our angel is facing attack. Our angels, the people that is supposed to make delivery of what we are expecting, they are under siege. They are going through war. I want you to begin to pray. Every power, every strong man that is that is that is resisting my angels, open your mouth and pray. My angels of good news that is resisting my angels of that is bringing to me that good news. I want you to begin to pray. Let those powers right now be scattered. Let God arise. Let them scatter. Let God arise. Let them scatter. Let God arise. Let them scatter. Let God arise. Pray that prayer this morning. Every power in the spirit, power in the air, power in the heavens, power from wherever kingdom that is resisting my angel of good news, that is resisting my angel of marriage, Good news is every area, sir. Anything you are looking for that is called answer prayer is good news. So we are connecting all of them. You can be detailing it. Begin to pray. Your angel could be a man, but they block that person from you. Begin to pray right now. As long as that man is blocked, you will be delayed. Your answers will be delayed from reaching you. Open your mouth and pray. Every power that is that is resisting. That is detained by angel of good news. Open your mouth and begin to pray this morning. Let that power, let that power be arrested. Let the Lord arise. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. Let my angel of good news be released. 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 Let that person that is carrying my good news, oh yeah, be released. Let every battle, let every war, let every siege going on around my angel, around my helper. Let that war cease this morning. Peace, peace of peace. Let there be peace. Let the war cease. Lord, oh God, let that I want. I release the ministry of angel around my life this morning. Release the ministry of angel around my life this morning. Send forth angels. Send forth angels. Send forth angels in their battalions in the realm of the spirit this morning. Oh God, this morning. Oh God, this morning. Oh God, this morning. Oh God, every power that look who see the in la manuro bakazia eru guzuba rabahadia erege de guzuba shandere guzuba. Every power that has been resisting my angel of good news, that has been detaining my angel of good news, that is fighting my angel of good news, Radabaha, not to be able to reach me, Barukutu Bakadia, begin to declare, Oh God, arise, let them scatter. And my angel of good news, begin to reach me, begin to comfort. Right Abakuzia, Kaliki Dibokuzo, Shabi Rekutuba, Derabakuduaya, there shall be no more delay, there shall be no more delay, Kondo Bakadaya. Concerning my good news, concerning that answer prayer, there shall be no more delay in my life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That word shall be so. We're not just praying, we're prophesying. It shall be so in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We're coming. Get your communion ready. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Can I listen? Can we listen to you? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning. Good morning. Lord. Yeah. I want to testify to the Almighty God. Um, around second week of uh, January, uh, the pastor prophesied about someone that is having pain on the left, on his left waist, hip. So I, I raised my, my hand. When I came back from my travel, I was having pain I on my, my hip. Shoe. It was very serious that I was struggling to walk. So when that word of knowledge came, I raised my hand up and the pastor said I should hit my waist. I should hit that place three times. After I hit it three times, he prayed for me. So after two days, the whole thing just stopped. Since then, I've not had that pain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Barabahaya. Praise God. Do you know what I, do, what I just saw? As you were just talking about healing, 
as we were just, it's like sometimes when we testify, God does something in you. As we we're just talking about healing, I just saw an angel around you there. They were handing over some document to you. I said, what is this, Lord? And they made mention of a particular month. And they said, look, this is, this thing has to do with her and all our children. And the angel said to me that like, the prayers that that which has been concerning your husband also have been answered. And Amen. It was this is when we, we after they celebrate after we celebrate the Easter when we hit April by May you see what is going to happen something Amen. has been handed over to you the angel of good news has reached you so I my area of your that you as I you wear, pray concern your has been answered Amen I wear my soul I feel your testimony with the blood of Jesus. Amen. The is permanent. Any devil that rises, I cast them from this altar. Whatever they do, will backfire on them. The Amen. Lord will never sleep nor slumber will preserve you. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Eat Joma, can we listen to you? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Eat Joma, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Mm-hmm. I want to testify. I had healing on Thursday. I think it was on Thursday morning. I noticed after my surgery, I stopped ovulating, seeing my ovulation, but I didn't just take it as anything. So it was when I was at home on Thursday. Then after when you finish praying, I think towards the ending, you were like, God is releasing somebody's ovulation. I just shouted, Amen. So when I was taking my bath in, it was like our Thursday night, our Wednesday night. So when I woke up to go to work on Thursday, I was talking to my sister on phone. Then I was taking my shower. Like my sister, can you imagine? Are you serious? I'm seeing my ovulation, my ovulation. I still screaming. She was like, ah, just like that. I said, just like that. That I've not even, I didn't even notice that it was a problem until when you mentioned it. I was like, ah, somebody's ovulation. Okay. I just shouted, amen. So I was surprised as. I saw my ovulation when I woke up to take my shower that morning. So wow. I want to thank God for, <laughs> as in I was still so wild. I was like, <laughs> when they say all oh, this, maybe healing, receive your healing immediately. Me, I used to think it was a joke. Sometimes I'll tell my sister, are you serious? <laughs> so when hmm. it happened to me, my sister was like, oh, thank God it's happening to you because you don't always believe all these instant healings and all that. I just hmm. want to bless the name of the Lord. Did you, Jama? Sir, do you want children? Yes, sir. I want us. I want plenty. Listen to me. Can you do what I ask you to do? Listen to me. Joma, I, as we're just talking now, the Lord just showed me three children. Amen. I received them all. Now, listen. Listen to me very well. Number one is this. The, just go and tell God. Go and write it down that you want three children. You want this. And number two, go ahead and look for children. You know, bless babies, children. Either they are in where, in any, wherever you could yes, bless sir. Them, but just bless them like that. You can get picked up like I want three children. Are you getting me? But you yes, see, sir. one other thing the Lord said to me is that like, you see, these three children you, you will want to get a health can carry it. Take seven days communion. I say, Lord, let it be a covenant of your. Hello.
the network actually did something. Okay. So that's it. Now quickly, Kayabako Rabako Sipra, Sipako Sipa Hadabako Sipa Kadibakosia, Karabako Sipa Rabaka Sipa Kazibakosia, Koba. So Ijama is done. I profess on this altar upon you that three plates is given to you now. Amen. I receive them in a hurry. Carry it. And Amen. I also declare, as you bless children, it's settled Amen. for you. Amen. I Jesus. them in the God name of God. Amen. All right, let's listen to Eniola Funlola. Good, good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, my it has to do with um, the water. On the ninth, you prophesied about my eyes. You said you will bless water. So when you bless the water, I started using it on the tenth in the evening. So that very first day when I used it, it's my I I in, in the night there was in my eyes as if there was so much sand. So I, I slept. So I continued the morning, afternoon, and night. I felt kept feeling sand. You know, I've I've been I, I've been checking it every time I wake up. Something like sand comes out from my eyes. Before, when when I wake up, it's always blurry for me to see. But now, things are becoming clear. Even, even my phone, very clear. And even when I'm in the office, I, I see things now, even without my glasses. But I, I wear my glasses because of the screen and, and the lights. So I just want to bless the name of the Lord. So you mean before, so, you feel like yeah. sand in your eyes? No, no, that sand, when I started using the water, that was when I started feeling the sand from okay, okay, okay. deep inside. Okay, you were, you were having the high challenge like that before, but it was when you started using the water, you started feeling sand coming out of the eyes. Yes, the sand was just uh, going round. Then, in fact, since 18th, I, if I wake up, I feel like sand coming out from my eyes. So that's why I'm not giving the testimony. It comes out when, in the morning when it comes out, my eyes are, are clear. It's no more blurry. It, mm. The sun keeps coming out, yes. But today, uh, I didn't feel, as I woke up, I, I had not felt that sun come out. But my eyes are becoming clear. Hallelujah. Let Amen. God Almighty take this glory. Maybe Amen. if God has finished removing the thing that is hindering it, there's no need for it to come out again. But in the name of Jesus, let God, who is the author and the finisher, complete your healing. Amen. Amen. that concerns you. Healing on the side in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord, I should tell you that I am not just healing your life, I am healing the pain in your heart. Amen. There's a lot of things that you're going to see God turn around that's going to bring healing to you in the next three months. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, sir. All right, Alice Bond, can we listen to you? Good morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Uh, my own testimony was during that time that the Balarabi came on and prophesied. He said he saw the gathering of enemies within that to my eyes, I will see the, them scattering. And to God be the glory, this Saturday as I was sitting in the parlor, those people came to me and started confessing everything they said about me. They imagine it saying it to themselves. And uh, secondly, there's a word of knowledge you talked about prayers, uh, praying for healing. I didn't get it really well, Sha. Well, yesterday, when I was doing my midnight prayer, I saw myself, instead of warfare, I was just praying about healings, thanking God for healing, both physical and spiritually. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, it is, a, it is a deliverance for God to deliver us from our enemy. It was a greater deliverance when God delivered our enemy. That means God has fought your battle. God will completely fight all your battle. Amen. All your enemies. He will give you victory. And your testimony is visible in your hands. And I declare. Healing is yours. Amen. And testimonies is yours. Amen. 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 God bless Amen. you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. Bless you, sir. Yeah. People of God, Toba Rabakasa Bahaya. Toba Rabahaya. 
the Lord said I should tell certain people here that something that is missing or that is not there in the body, in your health, the Lord said, I've just restored it now. The Lord, I've just restored it now. I've just restored it now. Man, Duba. The Lord, I've just restored it now. Glory be to God Almighty. Now, Peggy. 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 Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Something was handed over to your hand. That was three days ago in the spring. That person that handed over it has been a strong man, whoever he has been. And two things it represents. Number one, has to do with your marriage handed over to your hand. Number two, it has to be with you going to have certain kind of strange idea that will make you a more time millionaire or billionaire, whatever. Mm -hmm. You're going to experience something that is going to be. These two things is what that thing carries. The Lord showed me. That Amen. That's I declare it's done. Amen. Under the word of this prophecy of yours, let heaven crush them. Amen. Do it. That this which you have received manifests in your life right now. Amen. We pray. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank Grace. you, sir. Grace. 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 Is Grace there? I'm here, sir. I'm here, sir. While the prayer was going on, I saw a particular person handed over you. It's like documents, like paper or files, was handed over to your hands. And the person said, Take, take, take your team, take your team. We'll leave you. Take your team. Get ready for not just a job. Get ready to experience some release. Amen. Certain things that is yours. He said, Take, take, let me rest. It's as if he's under pressure. It's as if he's under fire. Amen. Something has been released to you. That's what the Lord told Amen. me. And as that is released, no more delay. Amen. Man has held all this while. Told it that has been released today. As the Lord liveth, it will be your testimony. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Rihanna Typhoon, can I know why your hands up? Everybody get your communion. We're going to pray on our communion, then I'll give instruction of how we should go this week. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you? Yes, fine, sir. Um, I just want to testify. Um, the reason why I was uh, a little bit, because I was, you know, like, I uh, was waiting for, anyways, let me just go on. I think, was it, uh, was it two Thursdays ago, or last Thursday, I can't remember. You said I should pray for restoration. There are certain things I, I lost, you know. I just want to testify in my business. Like there are some things I was really pursuing last year. Uh, I'm yet to get it. Comp I was waiting for it to be complete, anyways. But uh, I just feel like I've seen the hands of God in my business, and there's some things I've achieved. Achieved within the last one week. I Hello. Yes, go ahead. Okay. okay. So I was ex I I I I achieved it and I don't know, it was strange even to to myself because I remember I was being asked that, uh -huh, not, how did you get this? Why did we make it why 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 is it you that we've had better offers but we didn't go for it? And I just told them that is the grace of God. That's the only thing I can say because I don't know what I did differently. And they said uh, you need to, you are really blessed to whatever you're doing or we're doing to God. Because I remember when I was doing prayers on, I don't know, on that toast, after your prayer, you know, we're doing our Thanksgiving service. Like you said, we should do, we should write the things we wrote down. One of the things I wrote, I've actually achieved it. And while I was praying, I heard the voice. I've never experienced it. I heard something say, Rihanna, so a seed. And my mind, I'm like, me, I'm looking for money for something. So out of the money, we turn into a seed, you know? But I just said, okay, let me just do this in faith. It's not something big, but I just sent something like, okay, let me just do a seed. Let me just do something. Let me, something, at the moment, it's small, but it's painful to me because I'm trying to save up to get a particular thing done. I've gotten the thing done, even despite the fact that because God, God has been very faithful to me. And I can say it all to everyone on the planet. This planet, as in, God has really... I've experienced a lot of upgrade and so many good things I cannot really explain. I'm still hoping to get more by the grace of God. And I can I thank God for, for using this platform, you know, using this platform to achieve 
whatever heart desires or grant whatever heart desires we have before God. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your direction and um, for mm. being the, you know, how will I put being the voice as if God is really using you to get to most of us. I appreciate. Thank you, sir. Thank God for his mercy and his grace upon our lives. And we pray for his guidance again and his direction. Thank God. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. We declare your testimony is sealed by the blood of Jesus. And as you have spoken, the Lord has to tell you, get ready for more, for more, for more. The covenant of testimony backs you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. You. Thank you, sir. All right, people of God, there's something I want to say before we take our communion right now. There's somebody I see on this platform. Tabaruba Satabaya. I saw something that looks like as if they want to carry out a surgery. They want to operate on, on the breast. The Lord said to me that that thing that the enemy kept in there, he, the Lord, he has removed it. There will be no need for anything. He said, I, the Lord, has removed it. The Lord has to tell you that he gives you three days. Go and check. On that three days, he will have finished the work on it. Go back and check with your doctor. You will know God is alive. When God says it, he has done it. Thank you, Father. Anybody on this altar who have issues with their breast, I give you three days, go and check back. I give you three days, go and check back. The Bible said, when the word of God is released, great are the company of people that publish it. The Sutu Paras Kitabakaya Kazukata. Igra Kazukadabakazia. Oba, Daddy said to me, all breast issues have been handled already now. He has handled it. Dr. Jesus has handled it. Dr. Jesus has handled it. Thank you, Father. Get your communion right now. Everybody declare without communion, no more delay. No more delay. No more delay. Say it, no more delay. To so this thing I'm expecting, no more delay. Say it loud. The strong man, the Lord arrest you today. No more delay. Pray that prayer with your communion. Father, bless that wine, bless that bread, bless everything that has been presented. No more delay. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Now take it, the time I've spent four minutes extra, but please listen to this before we go. Listen to this before we go. Follow every instruction I give you. You discover that we take small prayer, we take instruction. You combine prayer with instruction, to get results. Now, what are the instructions for this week? The instruction for this week is this. We are going to be praying with our prophecy. Are you getting me? Once you start praying over your prophecy, if it is the power of your father's house that is fighting it, they will appear. So prophecy helps you to hit the right spirits and the right forces that is troubling you. So now we are worrying with our prophecies. I want you to take stand in this week. What you should be saying more to God is the things he has said he wants to do in your life. Start standing on the ground of saying back those prophecies to heaven and begin to come against the powers that say these things will not be. Are you getting me? It's a warfare week, but we are worrying with our prophecies. Everything you have ever been told, I told you, God spoke through you, God spoke through any vessel to you. Even if it is five years down the lane, Bring it as long as it's still fire fully hot in your heart. That this word, I know God will say to me, bring it up. It is a warfare week. Are you getting me? Praise God. And also, either on the 1st of February or 2nd, we're going to hold a prophetic, because I want this prophetic stuff so that we'll be dishing out what God is saying, so that we can also have what we can be using to war. We're going to be having this. Thing. And this meeting, I'm going to do a flyer out. I want you to do something for me. Now, look, take the flyer, take the link, take everything, and invite at least five persons. The one thing about the prophetic is this, always make sure there is people coming in to hear from God. So you take the flyer. When the flyer comes out today, take the flyer, at least five persons. Target five persons you want God to bless. Target five persons you will make sure that, like, I will not rest until they come to this Zoom. Now, focus on them. Let everyone do their best. Make sure somebody, somebody that listens to you, somebody that believes in what you believe, somebody that share your particular, your tribe, 
who believes in prayer and prophecy, bring them in. And I tell you, God is going to be doing something in this. To be on the first, you will see the flyer today. And I tell you, I'm preparing strongly for it to believe God for an outpour. God bless you. But when God outpour, don't rest. That's one thing you need to understand about this platform. Don't rest. Warfare with your prophecies. The ones you hear and the one. And I tell you, if you know what has been happening, what is happening, what is about to be completed, you'll be shocked. I pray for you today. Completion of your testimony. The release of what is yours. Marriages are released. Somebody here, you will be getting married. Even on that day of marriage, you'll still be asking, is it me? Am I sure I'm the one getting married? Because that is how I should tell you, I've released your marriage from the hands of the strong man. Listen to me. Marriages are released. Prof, everything, your document, visas, job, health, anything you are believing God for, your career, your children, they are released. No more delay. So shall it be for every one of us. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Get ready. Just once you see the flyer, please just know that's what I want from you. I get five persons in your tribe. People believe the same kind of belief. Even those who do not believe, bring them in for that particular program.